YouTube kick. Welcome. Welcome. So my first thing I wanted to talk about today, these are going to be crazy. I'm sorry. So many topics just popped up in my head. But my first thing is going to be, we're going to start off nice and easy. First talk of the day. Okay. Anxiety makes me dirty. What does that mean? <laughs> what does anxiety makes me dirty mean? To be honest with you. Um, what I'm trying to get at is the, some of the reasons sometimes, and this is going to sound ridiculously stupid. It, it is going to sound dumb, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay admitting that. This is just what my life and what I've been going through. And I've been doing it since I was a kid, though. The reason I don't clean up well, I keep my house clean, but the reason I don't keep my car clean and some other things, maybe like why I'm not a super clean freak, I guess is what you could say. The reason because of that is because my anxiety sometimes gets is weird. My anxiety has me thinking I'm going to die tomorrow, right? And because of that, I don't do stuff because I'm like, what if I waste my time doing all this cleaning and I just die tomorrow? What if I become a neat freak and I just die tomorrow? What if I, um, it's, it can go into many things. What if I decide to lose all this weight and I die tomorrow? It, it, it keeps me from really achieving my full potential. Um, and so it makes me dirty in some ways um, because I don't, I'm not as clean as I could be when it's so easy to be clean. It really is. If you just clean up a little bit every day, you'll be nice and clean. But because I always get in this intrusive thought of I'm, I'm going to die tomorrow. Um, I feel like there's no point of doing a lot of stuff. And so I just get myself caught up in a lot of things. Um, that's one reason I didn't lose weight for a long time. I just thought it was purposeful. And to speak on that for a second, your boy's back on it. You know, I've been really, um, I found my winning formula again. Um, I, don't, I mean, when I, I said I wouldn't speak about that, so I won't. Um, nonetheless, I've been losing some weight and, uh, I found a formula that's really working for me. Now, it's not going to work forever. The lower my fat percentage gets, the harder it's going to be. That's just the way the world works. Um, but as I, I'm going to work on this, and, you know, once my fat percentage and it starts stalling out, I'm going to change up my method. But right now, what, what I've been doing is working. Um, what I've been doing is, uh, um, because I'm so fat, I hold on to a lot of water and a lot of fat, right? So what I've been doing is working out a tad bit more. Not incredible, crazy workouts. Um, I work out like 15 minutes in the morning. I work out during my lunch break and then I work out at night and at night I may work out 20, 30 minutes. Um, I'll watch a YouTube video and I just enjoy the workout. I don't go super crazy hard because uh, once again, my anxiety gets me crazy. But um, what I do is just push it, push it. Um, but one other reason I haven't been working out as hard to go back to anxiety is like I just said, you know, if you have really bad anxiety, we have really bad anxiety. What ends up happening with you is you get this uh, disorientation. If y'all have had really bad anxiety, you know what I mean? Where sometimes your body goes into fight, fight, fight or flight mode for no reason. So you get this big rush of adrenaline. It might not make, sometimes it may make your heart pump real hard or something. But in other cases, it might not. You just might get this feeling of uneasiness. And that's what I get a lot when I work out. And so what I do to combat that, one, I just keep working out. I might not push as hard, but... That's why I say I work out three times a day. Then not all of them are super hard workouts, but it keeps my body moving. When you're fat like I am, any kind of movement really is gonna help you burn calories. You just don't just don't overeat. But another thing is, <clears throat> I'm making this into a weight video, but I didn't mean to. But nonetheless, what helps me get through the anxiety is just doing a little bit at a time. I go really hard on my punching bag. I go pretty hard when I'm doing punching bag because that doesn't get me too crazy. But when it comes to like squats or um, um, ladders and stuff like that, I have to take it a little bit easier because I'll get disoriented. Um, but that's just, that's what happens when you get high all the time. Okay. <clears throat> I don't get high anymore. If anybody watches me, this is hemp. Every time y'all watch me smoke, I'm smoking hemp. I'm not smoking TAC at all. Nothing I smoke has TAC in it. But these are the results. It's my own fault. I'm not blaming TAC. I'm not blaming people who smoke and get high. This is just my life. <clears throat> so <clears throat> my anxiety does keep me held back in some places but it's something you really just have to, i have to learn to deal with i can't make the excuse because what I, i'm afraid that will end up happening with my life is what if i lose all this weight right and what if i go on to live another 40 years or even 30 years or even 20 imagine all the time i could have been doing stuff and bettering my life and bettering the life around me but i was so afraid of dying that it crippled me because a man 
who is a man who fears suffering is already suffering from fear always remember that a man who fears suffering is already suffering from fear and uh, I just wanted to give this quick little talk. I know it's not the longest, but sometimes I give y'all these little snippet talks, you know, so y'all can, y'all don't always have to watch my super long talks because I've had talks, what, 40, I had a 45 minute talk not too long ago. But yeah, I just, just kind of want to talk on my anxiety a little bit. And sometimes where I, I feel like I'm so dirty, I had to clean out my car the other day, but that's when I kind of came up in my head, like, why don't I clean my car? Because I think it's pointless, but it's not. Cleaning this is so important in your life. Okay. Remember that. Peace. <laughs>